Hi, welcome to Open Amster. Recently I got this LED monitor light. Here's the brand name for it. Here's some of the options it can work with. Different types of monitors, whether the monitor has a more square, thicker, a thinner monitor, or in my case, it's like a slight curve to it. It only consumes five watts. And it came with a USB type C cable for power. Here's the mounting unit. The weight, the balancing weight is on back over here. This part clips onto the light bar, which is this. And this, notice how I can expand it to clamp onto the top of the monitor. And even when it's clamping onto the top monitor, there are these non-scratch, pretty soft pads, like a one millimeter, one or maybe half a millimeter thick on both sides here. So it's not going to damage the monitor. Same thing with this part, the part that rests on the back of the monitor. Here are the specs for the light bar. This can be warm white or up to daylight brightness. Then we have the USB Type-C power port. Print is pretty small, so if there's any part you want to read in more detail, just feel free to pause the video. Here's some suggestions on how to mount it and how to angle the light. And then the rest are in other languages. The LED light itself was maybe 15 and a half inches. And my computers, most of them are 15 inches. Uh, this one's only 40 inch. And on top of the light bar here we have, what is this? The dimming section, the light, then the color temperature. There's a light sensor on this side here. And I believe this was the uh, sensor switch and power. Here's the light bar clipped on. The USB port is exposed on the back. Now, before I mention that there was these, the tools that was provided, if this hinge ever becomes loose or I need to tighten it, the manual is set to just remove this cover and then I can use this Allen wrench to tighten it. For this back part over here, give a couple of options. I can either use the smaller block or use this larger block. I'm just going to use the larger block here since I'm going to first demonstrate it on the laptop. The USB Type-C braided cable that was provided is about six feet in length. On the front, it's not covering my webcam. It's only coming down maybe three eighths of an inch. It's plugged into my USB port on the computer. Turn this on. Looks great. It's shining right over here. Let me lower the brightness. If I just press and hold this down, it's dimming a little bit. So now it's much dimmer see it. I'm going to turn off all the lights in this room here. Now all the lights in the room have been turned off. This is the lowest brightness. It's about warm white temperature. Now I'm going to make it very bright. I'm going to tap and hold it again to make it less bright. It's great to have a very wide range of brightness. As for color temperature, now it's becoming more daylight. Now I tapped it and it's going to be much warmer color. If I want to enable the light sensor, the switch is this one right here. Once it's enabled, the LED here will illuminate. Here's the monitor I want to use this with. The monitor itself is 24 inches, but because this LED light bar, 
notice how it's, if it's even shiny on my hand over here, it's actually covering the whole area. So this can work with smaller monitors or larger monitors like this one. What I also did was I removed that, that larger block I mentioned earlier and it's just mounted like this on the back of the monitor. This is a pretty thick monitor and there's a, um, a bevel, a, a slant on the side over here, but it still works with this. I don't have anything negative to say about this light bar. Consistent color temperature, no flickering. It's great that it's USB type C. So for my kids' computers, they don't have like a, a USB type A port. I can go over a USB type C to USB type C cable. Use it and it will still work with this. The USB type C cable that they provided, very long length, about six, six feet in length. Very easy to mount. I can mount it on a variety of different size monitors, shapes of monitors. I'll place the link to the sign below. Overall, I like it and I would recommend it. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.